down on the ground, the dice spin around, while high in the sky, the sun shines bright. Hmm. That last line could use some work. White's the Traveler in Paimon. What brings you here? And I see you've brought some friends, clients, business partners, new associates. Uh -oh. Maybe leave the introductions to Paimon. This is Kaidahara Kazuha, and this is Kirara. Hello. It is an honor to meet you. Greetings, old friends and new. So... What brings you all to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor this fine day? Wait, don't tell me. Is it our latest promotion? Well, I'm touched that you journeyed all this way. No, no. We were just giving Kirara directions. Hello, ma'am. Are you Director Huta of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I'm your Komania Express Courier, and we have a delivery for you. I just need to ask you for a signature. Let me see. Ah, uh, yes, I've been expecting this. Delivery services these days make everything so much easier. I used to have to send my consultant running to and fro for this kind of thing. Say, Kirara, how flexible is your company in terms of delivering different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? <laughs> uh huh? Uh... Her tails are standing up on end! Guess that's a no. Well, maybe we can talk about potentially expanding your company's services sometime. C could I trouble you to take a moment and leave a five-star review? Five stars? Well, that's an odd number. Let's make it an even six. No, much too low. Service this good deserves at least eight. In fact, nine. One extra for going the extra mile. Oh, five stars will be plenty, really. But your enthusiasm means a lot. All right. I should be on my way now. Thanks again for the directions. No, uh, not necessarily. Business has been picking up lately, so the company has hired lots of new staff. But I handle all the international deliveries because I'm the quickest. I am a yokai after all. So chances are that we'll see you on the road again soon! Cool! Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Although, uh, hopefully next time it won't be because I'm lost. I heard you reciting a poem just now, Director Who. May I ask from where you drew your inspiration? Oh, do you share a liking for poetry as well? Once in a while, I throw words at each other and see what sticks. Uh, yeah, there's no need for self-deprecation. I've seen people from all walks of life. And I can tell just from the way your sleeves flutter in the wind that you are a man of culture. Anyway, I'm preparing for the tournament final that will be held shortly. Anyone feeling poetic? I need ideas. Tournament final? Ooh, you mean the Genius Invocation TCG Tournament? Yeah, that's the one. My next opponent is no small fry. Most of the time he's so unassuming you couldn't pick him out of a crowd. But during this tournament, it's like he sprang up out of the ground like a whopper flower and took the competition completely by surprise. So I have a strong feeling that this will be a tough battle to win. Then shouldn't you be focusing on your strategy? How is writing poetry gonna help? Because skill doesn't thrill, unless you've also got style. What? Let me give you an example you'd be more familiar with. To make a great dish, it takes not just flavor, but presentation, too. Ever heard the saying it takes two flint to light a fire? The same principle applies when you're trying to make an impression. Hmm. That sounds like it makes sense. Or does it? Oh, Paimon can never tell with Hu Tao. 
Hmm. In duels to the death, some samurai pay each other respects before the fight. Often, the two opponents find they have much in common. See? New guy gets it. What did I say? A man of culture. You flatter me, Director Hu. In my humble opinion, you could try incorporating your competitive aspirations into your lines. Or perhaps some words to intimidate your opponent. Oh, we have an expert among us. Hey, why don't you play a match with me? It'll help me warm up and maybe find some creative inspiration. As much as I'd like to oblige, I'm afraid that I haven't played before. I don't even have my own deck. Perfect! Paimon really wants to watch you play. How about Paimon gives Kazuo a crash course right now? Since everyone is so willing to offer their help, how can I refuse? a few little tips and tricks she's picked up from watching the Traveler play. Well, think you can handle it from here, Kazuha? I think I've got it. Thank you, Paimon-sensei. sensei <laughs> Wow! Paimon's never been called that before! Well, Kazuha, ready to go one-on-one -on -one against Liyue's most notorious backstreet poet? Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, Director Hu. Any last words before the duel begins? Huh. <sighs> One moment. Okay. I think I've got something. Wow. That was fast. All right. <laughs> Say your piece, Challenger. Whoa. Things are really heating up. Minds like sharp blades clash. Friendship forged through cards and dice. Autumn leaves burn bright. I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. <laughs> the birds are chirping, the weather's so nice. Watch me roll six pyro dice. Director Hu of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is ready for battle. My turn. Chi? Ah. I am defeated. It's no wonder that Director Who has earned a spot in the tournament finals. Talk about an exciting match, though. Good thing I was able to send off all those summons of yours. I have to say, it's hard to believe that this was your first time playing. I owe it all to Paimon Sensei's teaching. Did you enjoy Genius Invocation TCG? Yes, indeed. There is a good variety of card abilities, and the tempo of the match can swing in an instant. I understand now why it's become so popular across Tavat. Oh, seems the world's gained yet another TCG player. ka -ching! Why did you get here? Shortly after these two had begun their match, everyone seemed so focused on the game that I didn't want to interrupt. You must be Kaidehara Kazuha? Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to finally meet you. Please, the honor is all mine. I have heard great things about the esteemed Yuhang from Captain Beto. Just call me Kuching. You played very well indeed, considering it was your first time. I'm impressed. If we ever have the opportunity, I too would like to play a match with you. Wow, Kazu has already lined up his next opponent. Why so surprised? Practically everyone at Yujing Terrace is playing Genius Invocation TCG these days. I also play from time to time, when time permits. It would be my pleasure to join you for a match. However, I can't borrow the Traveler's deck forever. Our match might have to wait until after I manage to obtain my own casket of tomes. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. When we get back to the tournament venue, I'll ask a member of the Genius Invocation TCG Society to provide one for you. And please don't think about returning the favor. I assure you, it's no inconvenience. Besides, a friend of the Traveler is a friend of us all. I am grateful for your kindness, Kuching. 
pleasure. Also, Hu Tao, the final is about to start. I just came to make sure you're aware. Don't worry. It might look like my mind's on other things, but I'm still listening. Thorough preparation is the key to victory, after all. Will you all be coming with us to the venue? All oh, right. Back to the task at hand. Um, we're investigating a card snatcher. Have any of you seen someone going around collecting genius invocation card backs? Card backs? You mean like the kind with the treasure chest design on it? Yes, exactly. That's the one. Funny. The word snatcher didn't come to mind when I saw him. He struck me as more of a potential client. I saw him playing a match against Chang Yun this morning. He said that whoever lost would have to hand over their card back. It was close, but he managed to beat Chang Yun in the end. After the match, he wiped the sweat from his forehead, took the card back from Chang Yun, and left. Sounds like we need to go talk to Chang Yun then. In that case, try Uang Hill. I think that's where he should be. If I may ask, what else is this alleged card snatcher suspected of doing? Um, we don't know too much about him, apart from his obsession with card backs. But apparently, he's stolen other players' cards before. I see. I'll inform the Millilith to be on the lookout for this individual. But while he's still at large, make sure you stay safe. I think I'll go with the Traveler to Wong Hill. All right. See you later. With so many people rooting for me, I'm sure the match will be over before I can say, Phew! All right, let's go find Chang Yun. <laughs>